The video you're about to watch is cut down from about four or five solid hours of just warfare alone. I ended up fighting the largest coalition I've ever seen in 2000 plus hours of playing this godforsaken game. Twice. Speaking of the Godforsaken, there's a 70% chance you're not subscribed. Now, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you thought you were already subscribed. Mainly because the alternative sickens me. We're trying to hit 60,000 subscribers by the end of this month, and we could be as close as 30 subscribers underneath that goal. If you like this sort of content, give it a like for the algorithm's sake, and please consider subscribing. Now, let's see if Theodoro can in fact claim Rome. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> this is so avoidable, and yet... Here I am. Right, I think stage one is to get out of these walls here. And then it's Wuttenberg is a thing. Wuttenberg is oh, it's so isolated and Burgundy's not going to have a good time. All right, let's gather up the troops and we'll start marching uh, west because I think that this, like the Mamluks and stuff, will leave until last. We need to knock out as many of these guys out of the war as possible and that means marching Germany. <laughs> I mean, the entire point of this war was to make sure you don't join the coalition, so... I suppose, mission accomplished there. Oh, good luck, Austria. <laughs> Just hold off until I get there. Same thing for you, Burgundy. We're coming. Burgundy has decided to march all the way over here, and I can't say I blame them, but I think that was probably a smart move on their part instead of fighting, you know, the coalition. All right, first things first, let's fight this 13,000, get some early war score going. 115% discipline, that's what we like to see. And the next mil tech. Okay. All right, so don't fight anyone just yet, lads. Austria's inherited Bohemia. I think that's a good thing for now. The Teutons revolved. Oh Jesus! Right. I need I need way more troops than this. I need so many more troops than this. That's a three-star general. Well, I got one of my own, Venice. I got one of my own. Yeah, definitely to shore up the east first things first. Then, oh God, this is there's just so many troops. Burgundy's getting taken out. Okay, the plan is, lads. The plan is, I'm going to ignore the Mamluks. They're going to be coming at some point. But I'm going to ignore them. I'm going to try and get rid of Gezikamuk and then march all of my men west. That's the general plan. In the meantime, let's see if we can fight a superior enemy. Right, let's just hope the Austrians get involved in this one. They do. Is that stack wipe? Is that stack wipe? I think it is. It is. Oh my god, that's good. That's good. Right. We've won all the battles so far. Go and fight an advantageous terrain and let's see if we can rescue the Burgundians. Okay, right. So far, so good. All right, we lost Siege of Leon A. Okay, lots of sieges being lost. It's annoying. Okay, we beat the Genoese. Is that the Mamluks? That's the Mamluks. All right. Oh, um, <laughs> this is. I hope how like dire the situation is is coming across. All right, let's see if we can catch these lads. There's a few of them. I think we caught them. Here we go. Nope, they've managed to escape. Didn't escape that though, did you? Right, that's another stack wipe. Okay, there's a lot of troops up here. Let's start marching west. Deal with the Papal State. My God. It's just so many of them. Oh, the Muscovites getting involved. What we like to see. Don't win that, Brittany. What did I just say? Right, I'm going to set 20,000 men to go and siege down Wittenberg. Try and get the war exhaustion up. And the other men, I'm going to try and liberate Vienna. I think. There's so many troops. And the truce of the Ottomans has ended. Uh, Ottomans, I'll, I'll be there in a little bit, buddy. Right, there's some people, state troops. Don't let them win Siena. Siena? Vienna. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we won, siege, we won the Siege of Stuttgart. That's good. Get the Prague. I'll let my vassals focus on um, sieging. And I will focus on the battles. Like this one. Is that stack white? It's not quite. We lost the Siege of Stuttgart. Okay, well. That's not great. Because if I can kill their troops, then they're going to be a lot less gung-ho about fighting us. Please, can we win this? We need to take out as many little armies as possible. The Papal State is marching on Prague once more. Are we getting on down here? I just have to leave 21,000 men behind because otherwise they'll siege down all of its provinces. But this is my chance to take the Genoese land that everyone's been moaning at me for not taking. Lads, it's part of the HRE. I couldn't take it up until this point. Oh, this is... I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. There's a stack wipe. Right, let's march in. Get rid of these other lads. More battles. That's a big one and it's a huge stack wipe. Right, they're on low. Well, they're not quite on low, but they will be soon. Excellent. With the power of editing, uh, it's been but a few seconds since you last heard my voice, but for me, it's been three hours. Why has it been three hours? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that there is another bin guy on the loose. I've spoken to the police once more. Uh, they are trying to find who is burning all of these bins. Um, I made... <laughs> I made a stupid joke about how 
this happened um, up in Durham where I was living before uh, and they didn't laugh. So now I'm fairly certain I am a suspect in the bin burnings. I'd like to point out that I have never burnt a bin in my life and yet we're now here. <laughs> All right, let me go and deal with these troops over here and maybe collect a little bit more war score. All right, Truth of France is up. I need to be fighting these, uh, these new walls. We have to consolidate. 60,000 troops, 70,000 troops. How did I win that? There were 70,000 troops. My God, Theodoro. Oh, the Spaniards actually kind of like me. Okay, some privileges with them. I think I'm probably hitting my max war score from battles. Yeah, probably did that a while ago. We get another 15 more war score, but it's kind of unnecessary. If I pay less money, I can get Albania back on the map. Yeah, I'm willing to do this. Excellent. Right, so I've taken a bunch of provinces in the coalition war. Brilliant. Unite home region. Thank you. The Ottomans have left the military coalition against me. Oh, yes. Sweet victory. Right, who do I fight next? Well, probably... Probably you lot, right? I mean, my armies are right over here, so it'd kind of be a shame not to. I was trying to find Utva on the map uh, to get rid of the trade company thing so I can convert it. But it turns out whenever I hit F, it's now my hotkey to find Dashdistan. I don't know why. Instead of finding a province, I click over here. Nope, Dashdistan. Turns out conquering most of the known world is uh, kind of expensive. Well, might as well, right? It's just good business. All right, let's not get too cocky against the French. They do have some troops. I don't, I don't know where, but uh, I assume they have some. Oh, I completely forgot I had the Burgundians on my side. I was really confused as to why they were marching in. Oh, they're building more men. Quick, stab them out like the rats they are. Swarming everywhere. I, don't, I didn't kill a single one. I didn't kill a single one. I think it says something that my own rebels are more of a threat than France's at this point in time. Now, I, I also, I do have one of two choices here. I could uh, play it safe, only take the claims that Burgundy has and that sort of stuff. Or I could pursue my old strategy of outgrowing the coalition, which, to be fair, has yet to fail. So, you tell me which is uh, which is better. We've got the icon of St. Michael. Well, let's just remember it again. France, buddy, just come on. You're better than this. Accept it. Just accept it. Shh, shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh my god. They, they did. Well, let's line up a war against the Ottomans, I suppose. I think this war's done. All right, Venice, if you wouldn't mind getting rid of your alliance with France and giving me all of your money, that would be stellar. Thank you. I don't care about this Martian, uh, but I will be taking these promises. Now, that does result in a massive coalition, but there's this little thing called I don't really care. I mean, until obviously the truce with the rest of the coalition happens, at which point I probably will care quite a bit. But for now, okay, all right, hurry, 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 hurry before the Ottomans join the coalition. Holy war, yep, yep, sounds good. I don't know how many troops the Ottomans have. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah, I know, Coalition, we've been here before. Everyone's raiding me, the Knights, the Tunisians, everyone. This is, this is awful. Right, one Siege of Ankara, and we're getting a lot. This is going well, all right? This is going quite well. For now, <laughs> for now, I can't wait to see what this Coalition does. Do the Spanish want to ally me still? Oh, they do. Okay, well, let me keep improving relations with you then. All right, I'm fighting the Ottomans in the Highlands, which is probably a bad idea. If we weren't Theodoro. <laughs> <laughs> this is rapidly becoming just a wall of conquest from Theodoro. I'm, I'm here for it. I'll tell you what, this is great. If I could ally the Spanish, that that would be the best thing. I'm so safe if I ally the Spanish. Who's going to stop me? Oh my god, I'm the villain of the story. All right, there's the Ajamis out. Ajamis? Ajamis? It, it always sounds weird to me. I think that gives us 99% against the Ottomans. That sounds good. 107% overextension, you say? Sounds good to me. Yeah, it's 101% because I concentrated the development, but I was hoping that it would be a little bit less than that. That's fine. Meanwhile, lads, our truce of Poland is up. Be there in a second, Poland. <laughs> Ooh, the Spanish. Minus three. I can definitely get that up. I can indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, I have allied the Spanish. <laughs> I've just created a hug box with the AI is what I've done. I mean, what's that? The, the first, second, third, and fifth great powers are all allied. This seems a little unfair. No, oh, there's the Polish coalition. I'd say the Polish coalition is if they started it. And there's some integration. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to me that uh, we now have Kievan Pretend rebels. Just what are you gonna do, realistically? I'd like to point out it's only been a hundred years. <laughs> oh, the end of the golden era. Well, it makes sense. But my God, what a hundred years it's been. Oh, here we go. The religious leagues, lad. 
the religious leagues. Here we go. Also, Poland uh, left the coalition. And so we're going to return to our favorite pastime of stomping the Polish with everyone's help. Why? Don't lose me, Warscorp. Now, oh, for God's sake. Bane announced me as their new rival. Okay, now things get a bit interesting because they can join the coalition. I see. Okay, a challenger has emerged. You have to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, Spain has both Naples and uh, Portugal as a personal union. So they are pretty strong. But they're also going to have the entirety of the new world, new world because uh, England's not been doing too much, I think. And, well, France... <laughs> I refer you to pretty much every episode so far to see how France is getting on. Wait a second, Aust Austria's taking all this land. Uh, no! <laughs> Stay. Right, quick, split up and collect all the bits of land you can. Our allies are being greedy. Okay, here come the, the truces, so I'm assuming everyone's going to join a coalition. It's going to be bigger this time around, especially after I do something a little bit tricky. Massive coalition, you say? This is what I live for. So we're going to take this stuff, which is 105% over extension. <laughs> God's sake. All right, I wonder who it is. It's going to... Here we go. I reckon Spain's going to join as well, lads. Here we go. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Why fight Europe in lots of individual wars when you can fight Europe in one big war? This is this is my philosophy. I'm also going to take out Gazikamuk. <laughs> War without end, my friends. War without end. Yeah, if you could not go around stack wiping my troops, that'd be amazing. You're going to go around stack wiping my troops, aren't you? Oh, what happened? Bugity, could you... No, you're not dealing with it? All right, hurry. Otherwise, they'll break free the Puzzle Union. And that's not something we want. Which leaves just one. Oh, gain a stability. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate your uh, donation to the cause. Zero or two. I... I do not like this. By the way, lads, I've been gaining a coalition this entire time. This might be the largest coalition I've ever amassed in E4. Ah, finally, we can sort this little mess out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is a massive coalition, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> what do you need help with? What's this war? You want to take Venice. You want to actually take Venice. You do not have the ships for that. Putting all these uh, negative events to the side for now. We'll deal with those later. Again, that's another one there. We'll just put it over there in the uh, in the eh, don't check file. Oh, here it comes! The big coalition war! Alright, I have exact I know exactly what I want to do in this coalition. Right, let's get our best possible general on this one, because he's gonna be doing some work down here. It's time. Uh, I think 40,000 should be enough to handle the Mamluks. Just saw Spain that's the issue. Go on and do it. Provence is declared! Right, where's their capital? Ooh, quite difficult to get to. Okay. Contents, ladies and gentlemen, that puts us at war with uh, most of the Middle East, North Africa, the Iberian Peninsula, and parts of Europe. And all of my allies join. The standard three of Muscovy, Theodora, and Austria. Oh, you bastards. I love you to bits. Who do we fight first? That's, that's sort of the order of the day. All right, if we can get some early wins here, that'd be great. Let's not fight that in the mountains. Don't fight these guys over here. Land should left the military coalition. Uh, why? You're a bit late, are you? Oh, damn. Look at the amount of troops. What are the numbers like? Let me check. We're severely outnumbered. And also, the game is dying. If I open up that screen. Look at it. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of troops on their side. We're... I think we're outnumbered by two to one. But I don't zoom in too much. If I zoom in, the game starts to freak out. So let's not do that. Who was state are trying to take on Burgundy? They look like they... Oh, the Burgundians drawing first blood. Austria, why are you... Why are you doing this? Uh, oh, you you lost. Good job. Right. We are probably going to get Team War Squad down just because of the sheer amount of losses that my troops are taking or my allied troops are taking. Portuguese, let's go deal with them. Oh, come on, Austria. Stop attracting all the troops. I've not been able to fight a single significant battle, really. Oh, I found some. There's a stack wipe. That's what we need. Right, I am going to take out the burger loans from now because we are 100% going to go into debt here. And suddenly we have 4,000 uh, ducats. This will do nicely. All right, I found some Liège troops here. That's good. All right, now our troops are here. Let's go and take out the provincial stuff. And I think we're going to have 42,000 men just roaming. Running around trying to kill as many troops as possible. Ah, uh, every time I leave, they bring more men back. All right, I've got to go deal with these lot. There's too, many, there's too much war score left behind. Uh, what we got here? The Austrians are kind of doing okay. 
5,000 manpower, yes please. Oh god damn it, Burgundy, stop trying to take that one. Oh, fair enough, my bad, my bad, I apologize. Oh, I'll help that, I'll help that, that's a good battle, that's a good battle. We're getting ticking war score, we are getting ticking war score, lads, we might actually win this. Alright, they have won the Siege of Elam, that's okay. Ooh, that is, that's good, if we can kill those troops. Where are you going, Avignon? Wait for him to lock in. This should be hopefully a stack wipe. Oh my god, there's a lot going on. All right. They just keep disappearing into the east and I can't catch them. I need to stop, like, trying. Well, oh, the Burgundians are getting caught in the exact same place over and over again. Is that stack wipe? Is that stack wipe? It is. Is that the Burgundian stack wipe? The Austrians coming in. That might have been a mistake from Austria. It wasn't. And I apparently accidentally killed a bunch of troops. Oh, I also beat the Spanish over here. Oh, I'm also fighting over here. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad fight. That's a bad fight. We're going to pull out of that one. Oh, we beat... There's just so much going on. One against the provincial troops over here. Can I catch this army? Perhaps get the quick stat wipe in. We can get a quick stat wipe. And there we go. We defeat the Tunisians as well. In fact, I think there's a lot of troops here that we could potentially stat wipe if we combine our forces. How are we doing on manpower? Pretty decent. All right, let's get in there. Final four to lose any battles. There we go. That's a couple of wins right there. That's a couple of good wins. Excellent. That was about 20 war score, that entire interaction. I think that's one. I think that's a battle. That's a huge battle. Okay. Okay. That's a win. Jesus Christ, that was close. So much information on each tooltip just because it's like, oh, England gives access because of all of this. Thanks, game. All right, I'm just going to leave those troops in the east on standby. What's this? An agenda. Oh, you want your base tax to be three. Or the, this to be three. Great. Yeah, that's the time for it, isn't it? Oh my god, we're actually going to stop these sieges from taking place. Come on. Lost Siege of Strasbourg. It's fine, but we are trading in wine. That rhymes. I sort of have this the Italian coast here I can march down. Because I decided to take those forts, which I think was a very, very good idea. Just looking for larger battles, really, and I don't think it's necessary. I think we have all the war score we can get from battles. We can. All right, now it's just a case of just keeping them off our backs for a little bit whilst the war score ticks up. Oh, hey, Spain. Just ignore my troops marching through this territory. And I'm going to do what I've been doing this entire time. Ooh, I could get the next Miltec. Let's do it. <laughs> Tunis is trying to take Theodoro. Oh my god, get up there, please. Um, we're going to withdraw from the siege despite the fact it's breached walls in 21%. We've got we to gotta deal with this. We've got to deal with this now. There's way too many troops up east. Don't you dare, Tunis. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take my capital. How did you even get here? There's so many forts around the place. Come on. Come on. I don't care about the Siege of Utrecht or Napoli. I only care about Theodoro. Oh my god, we made it. Yeah, front to coalition. I mean, you really can't get scarier than this one. So it's sort of irrelevant at this point. It's a bit of a moot point, right? Go kill these troops. Oh, damn. The, just the sheer amount of destruction is, is sort of horrifying at this point. The army in the east has done very, very well indeed. I mean, they've... Okay, we lost the siege of Damascus, but they had Damascus at one point. They took this province. They've taken that one over there. They've, they've held off the hordes on the east. Like, they've done they've done a very good job. Oh, boy. Uh, I accidentally attacked them with 3,000 men. Did not realize that they were just standing there. Right, lads. That is the war won. And I will be taking our birthright of Rome. Also another province close by, but we've taken Rome. What's that? 1.2 million men dead? Jesus Christ. We didn't even run out of manpower. I mean, we barely ran out of money. Let me check. We've got 1,500 loans in loans left, which is pretty much nothing. But ladies and gentlemen, having claimed Rome as our own, I think that is where we'll end the tale of Theodoro. It's time we moved on to fresher pastures, and I have an idea that I think you guys are going to really enjoy. So uh, so stay tuned for that one. But let's, uh, let's recap a little bit of how Theodora got started because my god was it a journey and a half it was very touch and go but look at this the three vassals oh man it's beautiful isn't it taking out the Balkans from the Ottomans and then just the general expansion of today Jesus Christ all in 100 years and we fought coalition after coalition it, it just there's nothing that can stop us at this point firmly number one great power and I'd probably go ahead and integrate uh Burgundy at one point. It'll be done in about 80 years or so. In any case, thank you very much ladies and gentlemen for joining me on the journey of Theodoro. If you did enjoy the series, please do uh, make sure to like and subscribe. 
Uh, I have a lot of really interesting stuff coming up. Subscribing is the best way to not miss out, especially considering we're doing like daily uploads nowadays. You're really not gonna want to miss what we've uh, what we've got planned. And like I said, I think you're really gonna enjoy the next next little campaign I do. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.